Hello everyone, we're back in the wonderful world of processing here. Um, we're going to do some interesting things today, I think, I hope. Um, and um, to begin, uh, let's, uh, let's look at this set line thickness, this example right here. And um, if you remember, P mouse X and P mouse Y are variables that contain a previous mouse value. Uh, and um, if we know the current position of the mouse and the previous position of the mouse, and we know the time difference between those positions, we could, in fact, compute the speed of the mouse. Now, uh, let's say we might normally only be different be interested in the difference between mouse x and p mouse x mouse y and p mouse y and not may not be particularly interested in what the time interval is between them let's look at this okay um if the mouse is moving slowly we're going to draw a line where the line is uh, is a thin line. And um, if the mouse is moving quickly, we're going to draw a thicker line. So let's look at this. We're going to use a function called distance right here. This function, distance, uh, to help us in our calculation. So let me pull up this code here in this example and put it in our sketch window. Okay, uh, let's see, I wanna, wanna skip a line here. Okay, now we have, uh, okay, in order to do sort of good uh, drawing, good programming practice, let me indent these there like that. Okay, now, We've talked before about void setup and void draw. Void setup are things which are done once, and void draw, void draw is basically a loop. It just repeats over and over and over again 60 times a second. Okay, so we're going to look at, um, we're going to set up a variable. We're going to call it float weight, which will be the relate to the thickness of the line we're going to draw. And then we're going to use this distance function. And we're going to do mouse x and mouse y as the first two coordinates to determine what the current position of the mouse is. P mouse x and P mouse y give us the previous position of the mouse. And distance tells us what the, what the distance is between these, this point and this point. Um, and I believe it's using the Pythagorean theorem. Um, and uh, we can experiment that, if you like, to see if that's what it's doing. Uh, we do float weight. Now we're going to do stroke weight, and we're going to use the weight variable for our stroke weight. And so distance, computing the distance between this point and this point, the larger it is, the larger weight will be, and the thicker the stroke will be. So this is how this is working. And we're going to draw a line, mouse x, mouse y, p mouse x, p mouse y. So first time through, it calculates a weight, draws a line section, line segment. Then the next 60th of the second, these variables are all different. It computes a new weight and then continues drawing the line between our new mouse x, mouse y, and P mouse X, P mouse Y, using the new weight. So let's run this. Run. Okay, here is our sketch box. Size is set up here. Okay, original stroke is zero. You see that right here. This is a transparency. So let's see. I'll go in here and I'll draw slow. See how thin it is. Now I'll speed it up. And you can see the line gets much thicker as I speed up the mouse, the motion of the mouse. Okay, so uh, that's pretty interesting um, and a good example of this process. Now, I, as I said, I, I want to know um, what uh, 
what distance computes. Now, if we want, we could uh, we could write up here. Uh, you know, I, I think maybe I will uh, uh, make that a homework question on distance. I have to remember to do that. Write myself a little note here. Okay, now um, with that, let's go on to the next example. Easing. I've used uh, easing uh, on several occasions when writing graphics programs. And the idea behind easing is that we don't want to have, we, when we draw a line, let's say with a mouse, we don't want the line segments to have sharp corners uh, separating the positions of the points. We want to have a more smooth line. And we use easing to draw a more smooth line. So with that, let's look at this example right here to explain that. Here, I don't save now. So, uh, what it, what we're going to do uh, here is we're going to set uh, again x. It'll be a floating point variable here, and I set it up here. We set this variable easing to be 0.01. Now we do our uh, our setup uh, function right here, and the only thing in setup here is to set the size of our graphics window. We do void draw, which is going to be executed 60 times a second. We set another variable inside void draw. Now remember, when you set the variable inside, it's defined inside this operation. But if we try to do something with target here, target outside, uh, it's undefined. And, and I'll get to try to show you that that with an example. Okay, so float target x equals mouse x. Now remember what plus equals is. Plus equals gives us, um, we take whatever the value is in the variable x and we compute this expression and then we add this value, whatever it is, to the previous value of x to create a new value of x. So we're looking at the distance between target, our target x, and our current value of x. And we're multiplying that distance by the variable easing, which is just a small fraction. Here it's 0.01, 1 one hundredth. And then we draw uh, here, we draw an ellipse. And the center of the ellipse is x40. and the and the two diameters, the x and y diameters, are 12. OK, so we're going to draw an ellipse. Uh, and the way this is set up, what should happen is x, x, the center of the ellipse, the x position center of the ellipse, should gradually approach the value target, which will be the position of the mouse the current position of the mouse. OK, so let's let's run this. So you see we're drawing us we're drawing a circle here and then I'm going to put my mouse right here and the X position is, you know, this right here. And you see that this circle very, very slowly approaches the position the X position of the mouse. If I come back here, I go way far away and it moves faster, but as it gets closer to the X position, uh, it slows down. Okay, and that's caused by the fact that we're multiplying by 0.01. So as these things, as this gets smaller, which is what happens when it gets closer, um, then the increment by which we are changing the value on X decreases. So when that increment is large, like right initially here, the, the circle moves more quickly. As that increment gets smaller, the circle moves more slowly. Okay, so here down here you see we're printing out the target x 
and we're printing out we're we're printing out the the the, uh, the target, and then we're going or also printing out the value of x. So let me come over here, and you see the target is zero, and x is getting smaller and smaller. It's in the one zeros, slowly approaching, and the the rate at which it approaches slows down. It's going to take a while to get there. Now let me come way up here. The target is 204, and it quickly approaches 204, and then it slows down right there. Okay. Now, um, so that uh, that is how easing does it. Typically, we might do easing on both the X and Y positions. So let's do this. Let's try it here. I haven't tried this yet uh, on this, so let's close this. Okay, so I'm going to do float target y equals mouse y there. Now, let me just copy this line here and then come down here and paste it. And now I'm going to change the x to y make this target y, make this y there, and I'll change this to y, there, and uh, I won't change the print statement. Uh, now let's see what happens with this. y cannot be resolved to a variable. Why? It's because up here, I forgot to set it. Okay, so it, I haven't told processing that y is going to be a floating point variable. There. Now let's try it. So here's our window. Now, you see how that circle approaches the position of the mouse, and then when it gets to the mouse, it kind of stops. Here, if you look at the printout down at the bottom window, it's it's still moving really slowly. Okay, and uh, there it finally stopped. It finally got close enough to where it stopped. Okay, so now let me um, let me save this file. Uh, save as. And I'll call this easing. Okay, so that's easing. And then uh, after my example, I don't think this is going to be adding extra, any extra information for you. Smooth lines with easing, which is exactly what I've done here uh, in that example. But let's look at this example right here, and then we'll be done. So let me copy this out here. Let's copy it. The programs are getting longer, if you notice that. Copy this. OK, now let's see. Trying to figure out if this uh, this is copied right. Void draw float target x equals mouse x. For some reason, that doesn't seem to have. Oh, look at that! Stupid me! I didn't copy this here. Uh, let me just type it in. Okay, float target x equals mouse x. Semicolon. Can't forget the semicolon. I'll get an error. X is plus equal X minus X. Close paren times easing. There. Flow target Y equals mouse Y. Oh, I forgot my semicolon here. Low target y equals mouse y. Let 
and then I'll make this minus y close paren times easy semicolon and um, I think this might work let's try it let me do a since this is going to be inside void draw again proper programming etiquette here let me just move those over so everything inside the draw function the void draw function is now indented so it's clear what the boundaries on the function are I run now I have this what happens here look at that so notice as I move the mouse faster it gets thick just like that first example and then uh, as the distance between the mouse position here look at here move it fast when I move it fast the line gets thick and then as the as the distance between um, the, the line point ends and the mouse grows smaller here because the mouse isn't moving the line gets thinner okay so there we go pretty interesting so um, that's my example with easing now um, I easing can be useful uh, in doing uh, graphics obviously that's what we're using it for and uh, with next time I'm going to talk about mouse clicks and how you can uh, manipulate things by clicking the mouse okay so with that